Hello YouTube, um, today I'm going to be showing you how to create a Poly FX in Cinema 4D. I've tried to make this video about three times already, but it doesn't seem to be want to work. So I'm going to try it one more time. Uh, first thing you're going to do is you want to create a text. I'm just going to name it Poly um, FX. And then click Font. Pick any font you want, it doesn't really matter. Alright, once you do that, uh, you're going to click this little green thing, go to Extrude Nerves, and drag the text up to the Extrude Nerves. And then after you do that, um, you're going to make sure that Extrude Nerves is selected and hit C on your keyboard. And then make sure it's selected again, right click it, and click Select Children, and then right click it and click Connect plus Delete. Alright, so after you do that, you're going to go to MoGraph and go down to the Poly FX tab and you're going to drag that under the extrude nerves. And then you're going to go up to MoGraph again and click on Random Effector like that. So once you click on the Random Effector, you want to change the shape to a sphere. And uh, after you do that, you're going to want to drag this out like this. And you're going to make it the same size as your text. So kind of like that right there. That's pretty good. Um, so after you do that, you're going to want to go to the parameter on the random effector. Click the scale button and click uniform scale. Then go over, click on rotation. And then just change the first one to 300. The second one to 200. Oops. And the third one to 100. Alright, so after you do that, um, you will see that the text is kind of like shattering, uh, which is good. That means that you're doing it right. So um, after you do that, you're going to want to um, uh, hold on one second. Alright, sorry about that. Um, you're going to want to drag this out a little bit like that. And as you will notice, all these little like shattered pieces, they're all only 2D. So you're going to change that. You want them to be 3D so that it looks cooler and uh, all that stuff. So you're going to want to make sure that the, I believe the poly FX is selected. And you're going to click the little half sphere thing and click explosion FX. And they're just going to drag that under the poly FX like that. So once you do that, you can click on the explosion FX and you just drag it all the way out of the way. It doesn't really matter where you drag it. I'm going to drag it to the left. And then you will see that it is 3D now. Alright, sorry about that. Um, someone came in my room and messed me up, kind of. But it's alright, I'm just going to continue with this because I don't feel like starting over again. So um, after you add the explosion FX and you drag it out of the way, um, you're going to go up to the random effector. And drag this like next to the text like that so that none of it's shattered or anything. Drag it over a bit more. Hold on, wait a second. Actually, never mind, that should be good. So after you do that, you're going to want to click the auto keyframe button and then add a keyframe and drag this all the way to 90. And just click this and drag it across the text. If it works, which it's not, my computer is being very. Oh, there it goes. Right there, and then that's pretty much it. So, um, thanks for watching this video. Uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe.